Shalom. I'd like to start this lesson by saying Ka Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Um, this lesson is just me titled Evolution is Fiction. It's me a quick one. You know, because they believe in that the white man and his whole evolution and everything like that. All right, so we're gonna go to First Corinthians. And this is going to be quick because, I mean, Scripture is going to cut it up real quick. The whole Darwin uh, theory about evolution, how we came from a fish and all that nonsense. And then the monkeys. First Corinthians 15 and 38. But Yahweh giveth it a body as it hath pleased him. Actually, let me receive a read up. Uh, okay, no, that's good. But Yahweh giveth it a body as it hath pleased him and to every seed his own body so to every seed right um they have their own body right so like plants um birds etc they all have their own body all flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men right another flesh of beasts another of fishes and another of birds so if that's the case right there it says um all flesh is not the same flesh and there's one kind of flesh of man and another flesh of beast. So the flesh are all separate fleshes. How the hell did we come from a fish and then all of a sudden we, uh, through evolution, we turn into a mammal? It like, makes, no, makes no sense. Right? It makes no sense. Right? So that's the first one. And then we're going to go to Genesis. Right? I mean that with that one already cut up the whole thing. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really have to keep going, but there's still more proof. So Genesis one and twenty, and Yahweh said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So right there he already there's already two separate creatures. Right? Because creature just means um sentient being. Right? That's all creature means. For what I um Remember, but let's just go into it real quick. Creature. Anything created. Okay, never mind. A living being. Um, created being, all created. Yeah, anything created. A moving creature that hath life. Right? And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So right there's already two separations of... Uh, living beings. There's one that came from the water. There's one that's in the sky. Okay. And Yahweh created great whales, right? And every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. So after their kind, right? They didn't come from the same kind and then they separated or anything. Like that. No, they, they're separated. Different kinds, right? Of creatures. And Yahweh said, saw that it was good. And Yahweh, uh, I should say, and Elohim blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And the powers said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind. Right? So they're already separated. It wasn't like they said there was one beast, and this one beast was the first Right, this one be separated to different kinds of other creatures. No, that's no scripture for that. Right, they're all separated uh, creatures. Right, they all came from their own kind. Right, and um, where am I? And Yahweh said, "Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and the beasts of the earth after his kind." And it was so. And Yahweh made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind. And everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And, yeah, and, and the power saw that it was good. And the power said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. <laughs> so the man was made separate. Okay, he didn't come from a monkey, he didn't come from a fish, he didn't come from a land animal, he came separately. Right? 
I mean, right there, it cuts it up too. And go even further. And it's funny, there's, there's so-called Christians that believe in evolution, which doesn't even make any sense. That's how you know they don't study the scriptures. They don't study anything. They do not study anything. Psalm 76, Arise, O Lord, in thine anger lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes. I don't think this is the right one, actually. Hold on. <laughs> this is not the right one. Salakia. I believe it's eight. Uh, eight and six. Okay. Salakia was actually Psalms eight. Okay. Psalms. Psalms 8 and 6. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Right? So you're going to see the separation in the, in the creatures, right? So I don't need to keep going further with this. Um, so if anyone's telling you evolution is, you know, well, evolution is real, you know, we all came from, it's just nonsense, right? It's right here in the scriptures. They're all separated. Now, if they're atheists, they're atheists. Still cut them up with the scriptures, but, you know, nonetheless, right? The proof is here, right? So I hope this lesson was edifying. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka hala yahawa, ba Hashem, yahawa shai, ba Hashem, ka kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And to the hopeful alike, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and the two thirds as well. Quam Yasharela, Abal Dabal, Shalom.